As the Muhammad Buhari-led administration winds down, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timmy Pere Silva, says the completion of the Port Hackers refinery is to augment the petroleum products expected from the 650,000 barrel per day Dangote refinery, which is also set to commence operation this year and has a 20% equity by the government. The federal government says, aside from rehabilitating state-owned refineries, it has also acquired equity in other refineries in Nigeria for the purpose of energy security. The minister also confirmed that the subsidy regime in the country is unsustainable and will eventually terminate with the Buhari administration. The rehabilitation of the 60,000 barrels per day refinery has been completed and is going to be started in quarter one. 2023 as promised 20 percent equity that we have we have taken in dangote refinery we have also taken 20 percent equity in azike refinery you want to know the other refineries walter smith we took 30 percent of walter smith and dupont yes and dupont we also have 30 percent also in a dupont refinery unfortunately we are still in a subsidized regime, which all of us know. As a country, I think it's a national consensus now that this subsidy is not sustainable. There are a lot of people who would like to invest, private sector investors who would like to invest in this sector. But under a subsidized regime, who is going to invest? On his part, the Minister of Information boasted that the legacy of the Buhari administration are not only in the provision of critical infrastructure, but also touches on other areas of human capital development. The Buhari administration is leaving a legacy of a social investment program that is unprecedented in the whole of Africa. A program that has enhanced the quality of life of the beneficiaries. The Boy administration is leaving a legacy of putting Nigeria on the path of self-sufficiency in many staples, including rice. Fertilizer blending plants in the country have increased astronomically from 10 in 2015 to 142 today. The number of rice mills in the country has also increased from under 10 in 2015 to about 80 today. The Buhari administration is leaving a legacy of a revamped security sector in the face of unprecedented security challenges in the country. Today, the Nigerian military is being restored to its glorious past, thanks to Mr. President's foresight and doggedness in re-equipping the various services. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources is the 17th minister to deliver the scorecard of his ministry to Nigerians. The scorecard At series continues on the 10th of January, with the Minister of Health, Osage Ehanire, expected to reel out the achievements in his ministry over the past seven and a half years. Amaka Ude Walker, Arise News.